Hi friends, welcome to today's video and today's topic is I want to take you with me on a short training session with my Doberman and today I want to focus on the position in motion. So that means sit down and stand in motions, which you have in, for example, the IGP trial where you have sit down, stand in motion. And yeah, today's focus is on this position and I'm just going to take you with me on my training session. Let's go. Fuss. Fuss. All right, so like I said before, today I'm just gonna try to do the position, sit down, stand in motion, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Fuss, fuss. So you see again, typical problem with him, a little bit too much motivation. So I'm just gonna try to feed him a little bit that he calms down. Fuss. Sits. That was pretty good. How about that. Again. Fuss. Sits. So you see, this was maybe a little bit not fast enough for me. I'm gonna try again. Fuss. Sits. You see? Here we have a little bit of problem. Sits. Oh boy. Fuss. Try again if there was. Sits. So for my feelings, this could be a little bit faster. So maybe we try Fuss to focus today a little bit on the sit in motion. So normally this should be very fast, the sit in motion, like this. Sits. So this is maybe something I have to work on. Fuss. One more time. I'm gonna try to work on a sit. Sit. And when the dog sits down very fast, I'm gonna just drop the food. Try again. Maybe that worked something out. Fuss. Fuss. Sit. So you see, this is something we have to work on because he's sitting down not fast enough. So I'm just gonna focus today on my training session on the sit in motion. So the first thing we can try is we use foot luring foot and help him in the sit position very fast so that it becomes a body movement to so sit down pretty fast like this. Sit. And when the dog sits down pretty fast, I'm gonna reward. One more time. Fuss. Sits. So this is how I wanna have the sit position. One more time. We can try it on the other side, backwards, for example. So we, we walk backwards, and when we want the dog to sit down, we're just gonna lift up our hand. Sit. So you see now it's also a little bit faster than before. One more time. We walk backwards. The dogs on the foot, sit. Jawohl. So that was also pretty fast. So either we try it walking forward and then we lift it up pretty fast. Sit. And we reward. Or we try it the other way. We walk backwards, sit. So that would work also. So these are two things that would work with him. Another thing we can try with a higher value, that is the ball, but I gotta be careful with him training with the ball. Yeah, because otherwise he will get very much, very high in drive, Kip. and then he stops to concentrate. So do the same thing in motion. Sit, yeah. And when he sits down pretty fast, a reward. So this is also something that works when we have a dog that don't want to work too much with food, Floki. Or I'm going to show you in a second the other version while walking backwards with the ball. So maybe you noticed something that I did wrong, which I explained in the previous videos. So while I was walking and told the dog to sit down, I was doing this. So maybe this is also a reason why the dog sat down that slowly. And that's also a mistake a lot of people do. And we also do sometimes mistakes because we're also not just humans and not machines. 
and, but we got to be careful and we got to be aware also of our own faults. So maybe this is also something why the dog sat down so slow. But I'm going to show you another way with the ball, how we can try to fix that with walking backwards like this. So you see the dog's focused on the ball, sit. And when the dog sits down pretty fast, I'm going to reward. So we have four possibilities how we can try to fix the sit down in movement when it's too slow. And you also got to find a way to train your dog because not every dog is the same. All dogs are a little bit different in their own ways. So let's try again if we can work something out to make the dog faster. Floki. So right now you see he's very much in drive. So maybe I try to bring him a little bit down with food. Another method we can use is we have like the whip for horses, which we can use, but it's very important to know that it's not to hit the dog. It's just to give a tactile command to the dog to sit down. So what we can do is like this, which did not work out pretty well. So one more time. So we can touch the dog on the back with a stick to make him understand that this means to sit down. Sit. So you saw it was like just a slight tap. And I always call that tactile commands, which I explained also in a previous video. Sit. So you see, and the dog's a little bit faster now I'm sitting down when I touch him with the stick. Sit. So you see that? When I touch him, he instantly goes down. So we try it one more time without food. Fuss. So we walk. Fuss. Sit. Did not work out pretty well. It's no problem. One more time. Fuss. Sit. Yes. And now. That was pretty good. And now I gotta find a way to make the dog understand, okay, sitting needs to be faster. And now I have different ways to train that. And I'm just gonna find out which way works the best. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video. And if you have any questions, just write it down in the comments. And if you're interested in the work I do with my other dogs also, I'm gonna link you the playlist here and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.